Hey darlings, welcome back to another character introduction. Yes, this is probably our fifth or sixth girl. I'm sorry, I I lost track now. I'm just constantly making these gorgeous sims. Oh my god, see, even, even the cow agrees. <laughs> this is our very Hufflepuff cottagecore queen. <laughs> even our cow is agreeing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the fact that we get cows in The Sims, cows, chickens, Mara. rabbits. Alfred? She's like, oh my god, let me just pet your fur to make sure that there are no ants on your fur, okay? I'm gonna get them out. <laughs> oh, so cute. This brown cow is like milk chocolate and white chocolate mixed. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but yeah. So this is our girl Carnation Cornet and she will be our farm girl, very simple. She loves, loves animals. And who is this random guy at our doorstep, sir? We don't know you. Go away, please. This is just a quick uh, preview or sneak peek of her exterior and just how cozy. And if you love cottage life and living in a simple farm area, then this is definitely the pack for you. Cottage living is really, really perfect for farm let's plays. And hold on. <gasps> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, is that a white fox? <gasps> no way, I just opened this up and there's already a white fox. I don't know how rare fo like fox sighting is supposed to be when you first open and enter this world. Again, I'm not sure, but I don't want to meddle around with the fox just yet, but that is a snow white fox right there. Look at him go, eh, woo! <laughs> Okay, anyways, while he's moving on into the distance, just wanted to show you a little bit about that. Uh, the house is very rustic looking, as you can see. And where is she going? I want to see if I can find a rabbit. Oh, it's a rabbit! It's a rabbit! It's a rabbit, you guys! It's a rabbit! You need money! <laughs> I'm sorry for being so giddy and overly overzealous about the whole thing i just never got to interact with bunnies in the sims before or even in real life for that matter so i'm just super excited let's go over and talk to the bunny i think is she gonna like us she or he oh my god don't talk about penguins in front of the bunny but apparently the bunny liked that like make a joke about penguin please okay oh my god what she did not like that at all, whatever we just said, she was not having Can't it. She or he. Um, she's like, you wanna be my bunny friend, please? I don't know any bunnies. You'll be the first one. Let me admire you. <laughs> she's like, do you like me yet? Can I name you? Chatted with rabbit. Oh. So our girl Carnation really just prefers to interact with animals the most. She's not a loner, she's not an introvert, she's not an extrovert. Again, she's probably an ambivert too. But let's just name, rename our bunny really quick. Do you want to name it? Oh yeah, Spotella. Sure. Because the bunny has spots. So she, her whole aspiration, okay, you like want to like fitness, okay, sure. Want to call over and the bunny and see if Spotella responds. And Spotella responds. What a cute little obedient bunny. I really want to show you guys her outfits and her traits really fast along with... Uh, I think there are some of her outfits. Oh my gosh, she's showing her lame dance moves to the bunny. The bunny liked it. This is really her best friend. <laughs> Get you a bunny that's gonna love your lame dance moves. And now she's telling her a lame joke about llamas. Girl, no. What is that love? She's like, <laughs> sure, that's definitely gonna win the bunny over. Absolutely. Um, let me try to see, just chat a little bit more, or let me just go and show you. Um, now the thing is, when I downloaded this house off the gallery, it only had two bedrooms and two bathrooms. So she does have a mom and a brother living with her, a little brother living with her. So I decided to give her a separate space away from the main house, a home away from home, if you will. So behind this... Wait a minute, what is that sad music? Please don't tell me a pet is gonna get taken away. I don't like that sound. Oh no, our chicken. Don't worry, I'm gonna take care of you, chicken. Please don't go, let's feed you, let's make you happy, let's converse with you. While she's talking to the chicken and feeding him and everything. So yeah, this home away from home that I again downloaded off the gallery. <laughs> she's like, please don't get taken away, I love him so much. <laughs> Please continue to give us eggs, fresh eggs, but you kind of stink, so please. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have her clean up that 
uh, oh, they all feed dang, chicken food. Dang. But the point What's is, that? she yeah, really yeah. loves to interact that's with all true. types of animals, <laughs> and her goal is to be, be the best friend of animals. Like that's all she wants. So Take care of her farm. Her mom has a job as a gardener, full-time uh, job as a gardener. Her brother obviously is a child, so he is in school. Oh, so she dip, is left at home to take care of the animals, and that's that's just how she passes her time. Will I make her do a full-time job or not? We will see. We shall see later on. For now, I just want to show you her interior of her little room. In this place, you can see her bedroom and her bathroom attached. Let me just show you really quick. Extremely vibrant and beautiful. Just a just prism of earth tones like if hufflepuff was a cottage core gal this is definitely this is definitely what their room would look like her mom is just sitting there her mom literally blends in with her room colors because she's wearing yellow and brown as well but where is the mirror i'm trying to search for okay there we go the mirror so i can show you her outfits uh, fun fact, when I was making Carnation, initially I gave her a lot of pink and purple and then I realized that, you know, Aura Rose already has that vibe so I want to give her more earthy tones. So sticking with the color palette of browns, greens, yellow, orange, like that. Queen so Red <laughs> She's like, I love animals, let me just get back to playing with them already. So just showing you her everyday outfit, very cute, the one piece giving very farm gal, how you doing, I'm just taking care of my chicken coop, vibe, <laughs> like look at her, she is so cute, she might be my favorite sim you guys, maybe she might just be my favorite. I need to change her dress, like I said, I gave her a purple shade, let me just change that color really quick. I mean, she looks cute in every single color, 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 wow, I can't even speak. She looks really good in every single color in my opinion, but I think I'm going to just stick to the color palette that I mentioned earlier on. So either yellow or green, I can't, okay, wow, they have oranges, the yellow one has lemons, I might just go with oranges, yeah, it's cute. So as you can see, I, I tried to give her different hairstyles for every outfit, but also keeping her... I love her original hair, like the Maxis Cottagecore hair is actually so cute. This is her active wear, very simple again. I didn't want to change this one, I think I, I don't end up really changing her active wear. It's okay, it can be light pink, we might change it later. Uh, this is her sleep wear. Again, I might change the color of this or maybe not. So yeah, we might just change this one too because she does love purple and pink as well because ah. you know as you can see on her hair Her little hair bonnet or hair scarf Head scarf is lilac in color. So she does like purple too, but like I said Sticking to the hues of the earth and the ground and the soil and all of that fun stuff So her backstory is very simple nothing gloomy or nothing sad. She just lives in present day the only thing is she her dad died when she was really little, that's all I'm gonna say. He died of a horrible car accident and uh, <laughs> I know I said I was, wasn't gonna make this dark and sad but I just thought of that really quick. So at the top of my head, he died in a horrible car accident that just left the mom and her brother and you know them to just take care of the farm. But of course, they all. this is a family filled with animal lovers. But of course, she loves them the most. That's all she wants to do is that her, her, her aspiration is literally to become an animal best friend, to become the number one best friend in the eyes of all animals. Don't mind me, just trying to change and match her nail color. I just want it to be matching. If she's wearing a yellow top, you best believe I want her to get yellow nails. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just like this. Okay, I can't help myself. <laughs> okay, that's her party outfit. Then this is her swimwear. Again, let me just change. I love the purple on her and the lilac shade but again I want to change it to yellow yellow yeah definitely this mustard yellow is her color I swear it looks so cute on her wow it really goes with the hairstyle very simple and she has wavy slash curly hair if you notice most of the hairstyles I gave her have that wave slash beach wave slash elegant curl to it so we're gonna stick with that her Hot weather outfit is pretty cute. Gonna just leave it like this, I think. Again, her close-up of her face. She, she's giving Barbie farm girl. Does she not? Oh, I love her large doe eyes. So cutesy. And then this is her winter wear. Again, I really don't feel like changing it because uh -huh. I don't think there's any other option as cute. Again, she does love yellow, but I just want to keep this pink mm. sakura cherry blossom 
winter outfit on her on as her winter wear so moving on to her aspiration and traits okay that's just her makeup just a close look just keeping it very simple again uh-huh there we go carnation so this is her country caretaker that is her aspiration she is a collector these are her likes and dislikes ah. and uh, let me just make her love yellow because yeah, boy, how can yeah. she not love yellow hmm. yellow and green and orange hmm. and brown yeah there we hmm. go and yeah that's about it for her favorite colors boy. <laughs> okay girl calm down <laughs> Then yeah, so she's an animal enthusiast. She is a vegetarian and she is super cheerful, super bubbly, always having a good time, always happy. And her mom is a very simple woman, a woman of simple tastes, I must say. She is she just wants to have a very successful lineage, a successful family that she can be proud of. Again, she's an animal lover and a vegetarian and she's self-assured. This is her little brother. I gave him the social butterfly aspiration. His likes and dislikes are as follows. And of course, he is an animal enthusiast as well. So very simple. Um, that's just about it. I just wanted... I did, There's actually so much you can do in this world and I didn't want to spoil too many things. I just wanted to give a little sneak peek into the daily life of our girl, Carnation Cornette. So just having her look around... Just admiring herself okay okay doing some exercises I'm, I'm just I'm so obsessed with her room oh I could keep staring at her room all day her room her bathroom like I just want to live here so so aesthetically pleasing if you love earth tones it's just lovely so I just wanted to move around and show you the area so there's a lot of rocks, marshy lands, a lot of trees and vegetation. Of course, it is a farmland, so we're going to be seeing a lot of that in this area. There isn't, I don't know how many activities can you generally do in Henford on Bagley. I hope I'm, I'm sorry if I'm apologizing, I mean, I'm apologizing if I'm saying, mispronouncing that. But for now, all I can see is that I met a chicken, I met a rabbit, I met our cow, and we want our chicken to like us. So I'm just going to keep talking to our chicken, just ask him some jokes, try to give him, show him some love and affection so they don't get taken away. It's going to be very difficult to be, you know, it's if you if you played with pets in The Sims, you know how difficult it is to make sure that they're all healthy and well. You need to make sure you're interacting with them on the daily. So she is a sweetheart. She is a country gal. She's very simple. She doesn't have too many expensive tastes. Now, I know I in most of the... Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> in most of my previous character introductions, they all mostly lived in the city or have lived in the city and moved on to, to live somewhere else. But our girl here is a true, true country queen. She has has never been to a city before so when she goes and meets Arulo for the first time that should be like a, I bet that's gonna be a huge culture shock for her but wait a second yo I think her brother doesn't know how to communicate with the bunny and the bunny is like not having that so the bunny is like bro I don't like you leave me alone <laughs> Spotella are you okay on oh, the moment we came to talk with Spotella there she's thinking about rainbows she's like this girl is like rainbows unlike her brother <laughs> I think that's just gonna be it for now guys um, I'm gonna be maybe introducing one or two last characters after this and then we can begin the let's play she's like hmm when is it gonna start I wonder I want to make my appearance if you made it to the end thank you so much for watching darlings bye